I love general practice, either urban or rural. In remote areas of Australia, health resources are limited. When you have to get a plane in to get someone out, at a considerable cost, you really have to think your way through it and make use of what you've got on the ground. So it's challenging, but it's very rewarding. In Darwin, a client can be 500 kilometres out of town. It's a long drive to the Daly River. The roads are very rough, which is why we need a four-wheel drive. In Walgett, there are only two GPs for over two and a half thousand residents. We're chronically under-doctored and um, what works in Sydney or in Canberra and Melbourne is not going to work in a rural setting. Doctors, nurses, pharmacists and community health workers. The Rural Health Education Foundation supports the continuing education and professional development of healthcare providers in rural and remote Australia. With our help, they can keep their knowledge up to date without having to leave their families, their clients and the communities who rely on them. Let's just check your blood pressure. Yeah, no dramas. We produce television programs that are delivered nationally on the Foundation's vast satellite network, other television services and the internet. Here we go, stand by tape. Hello, I'm Norman Swan. Welcome to this Rural Health Education Foundation program. Our broadcasts are facilitated by volunteers at the many hundreds of satellite receivers we've installed. And who better to talk about those challenges in terms of mental health is Professor Ernest Hunter. It's very interesting information that's come from Canada. Our topical, evidence-based programs cover the wide diversity of medical practice and healthcare, from infectious disease to mental health, oncology, clinical skills, indigenous health, aged care and paediatrics. I don't see many objectors to immunisation. I think maybe part of that reason is that, you know, Aboriginal women, grandmothers can remember children dying of meningitis and some of these vaccine preventable diseases. The expert panel discussions led by skilled facilitators are engaging and informative. Leading practitioners and educators volunteer to share their special skills and knowledge with an audience that may be hundreds of kilometres from peer support. When I went through medical school there was no training on fetal alcohol syndrome. I landed in Cape York and had to find out on the ground about FAS. Viewers often have the opportunity to put their questions directly to the panel during the broadcast. We've got a phone call from Dr Tim Hanna, Timber Creek on the line. Welcome Tim. Hello Norman, I just had a quick question for the panel. Our programs are accredited or endorsed by professional health and medical organisations. We make sure that our programs are relevant and that they're contemporary. You commonly hear pregnant women say, I'm eating for two. But what if a pregnant woman says, I'm drinking for two? What would you think about that? As well as the regular satellite broadcasts, our website offers access to our extensive range of programs that can be ordered on DVD, viewed by web streaming, or downloaded as podcasts. I never get to see the programs live, but these MP3 files allow me to listen as I drive. Keep up the good work. For more than 15 years, the Foundation has been using state-of-the-art digital technology to deliver the latest information to rural health professionals. The Rural Health Education Foundation. Education lifeline to the bush.